Hey developers, today we're going to look at how to create a navigation header using Flexbox. So we're going to look at some basic use cases of how to use Flex and we're going to just create a real quick header and uh, we'll talk more about it. But first, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Guys, when you're building your own website, whether it's for yourself, your business, or a brand, one of the hardest things to do is to find that awesome domain name that is short, relevant, and most importantly, available. Well, thanks to Dot .tech domains, finding the perfect domain for your website is one less thing to worry about. Programmers, tech startups, and brands finally have a domain extension of their own. Dot .tech perfectly encapsulates what you stand for and has excellent recall value, enabling you to stand out from the crowd. Brands like Intel, Viacom, even the world's biggest electronics show, CES, are using .tech domains. With the .tech domains Black Friday sale coming up, it's the perfect time to secure domain at 95% off. In fact, if you pre-register now, you can get an additional 10% off. So make sure you go to www.go.tech slash Eric or click in the description below to get your .tech domain now. It's a really great deal. Just click on that link in the description now. Thanks. Okay, so I was looking around to see, uh, to practice some flex. If you don't know, it's Flexbox is a type of CSS that you can do to organize elements on your page. And uh, I kind of, was, I thought, well, let's take a look at a sample site and see if I can go ahead and reproduce it. So I went and looked on dribble.co.com and I saw this header here, this navigation where it has these five icons here at the bottom. Then we have this centered metalab.co uh, looks like logo. And then there's another logo in the left-hand corner. So I thought that would be a real simple design. We can look at it. And so I went ahead and just created it here and I'll walk you through how I did it. But I uh, used some, some simple placeholders for now. I centered the text in the middle and then I have these, uh, these items here in this layout here and just using just basic flex to do this. So let's take a look how that would work. And by the way, uh, I do have a few recommendations if you guys are learning flex. This will go into some basics of flex, but if you wanna do some more in-depth learning, I'll leave a link below. There's a cool uh, website called Flexbox Froggy where you can kind of play around with, with this flex box here and, and you can learn what, like here's justify content and I can move him to, you know, flex end and I can go into the next one. It's like a little game to help you remember all the different items on flex. You do justify content center. And you can see here now I'm on center. So it's kind of a fun game. Another one is Flexbox Defense. Uh, this is a real short one, but once again, it kind of goes over the basics here. Justify content, if I wanted to put in the center here. Um, I just click off of it and then I click a start wave and these little guys come down and this thing shoots it. So you can kind of play, play a little game. You can play a little game here, so it's kind of cool. And then uh, there's a website called Flexbox Zombies. It's usually a course that's $225, but it's actually courses open for free now. And if you go into it, it's a pretty fun game where they teach you um, how to, actually I completed all of them, but it has like uh, a storyline on each chapter and it's, it's really well done. I really like it. And then it gets to the end. Um, you can actually do lessons after it teaches you the basics of it, like this one. Okay, now I need to kill this zombie. So I, you know, display flex, flex direction. Uh, let's see here, column reverse. And then now he shoots him. And then it shoots him and this guy talks to you. Uh, it's a really fun game. I just found it the other day. So I just wanted to show it to you guys. I'll leave the links for these all in the description below. And let me know if you guys like it. Just leave a comment. Cool. Okay, so I have my code pen up here. So let's see if we can go ahead and recreate this layout here. So we have this top header, which looks like there's an icon on the left-hand side and logo in the middle. And then it has this typography, uh, these navigation links at the middle here, color typography, icons, layout. So that's all we're gonna do is just focus on the header and this navigation here. So uh, to begin, we'll go ahead and just set everything up. I'm not gonna worry about setting up a body or anything. We're just gonna set up some div tags. So I'll have a top container. And if you don't know, CodePen is just a quick and dirty way of creating styles and, and edits. And you can use Emmet, which means you can just kind of tab and, and things will create for you instead of being able to, having to type this all out. And then for now, we're not going to worry about the, the second container, which has those other links. So we'll just deal with this first. And 
uh, we can create a, a div which we will use for the top. We'll use this for the uh, first image. So we'll make an image here. Just to make things easier, we're gonna use placeholder text. So there's actually a website called placeholder.com and we can just put in any size text we want. You can see here, I went ahead and created it at the bottom. You can kind of see it there. And we'll just create a second div and we'll create an image as well. And we'll do the same thing as this one, but we'll make it a little bit bigger because it looks like if we look here, um, 100, uh, actually we'll go 150. Because it looks like if you look in here, this icon, this logo is a little bit bigger than this one. So uh, since we have it in here, we can go top container and we'll just do display flex. Now, if you know anything about flex, you know that it begins by um, how it's set up is flex start. So your justify content right here, if we do content, it's basically, it's starting with flex, uh, flex start like this. That's kind of the default, but we can do flex end which would move this over to the right-hand side. Uh, we can also do flex center, which would put it in the middle. If we had width or a height on our column, we can also do align items. We can center it there, which would make a difference if we had that or flex start. Um, and But we won't worry about align items right now. So uh, you can there's a couple of ways we can make our our everything look like this, our navigation at the top. So the first thing you might think is, well, could we somehow do this? So we could have a flex start here. This is default, but we'll just leave it in there. And then this one, we can give it a class name. I don't know, second image. And we could do something like this. And second image, we'll just display flex and we'll justify content in the center. And we'll make sure the width is 100%. And so you could see here, it's this is sort of what we are going for in our design here. But for those of you who might be a little astute, we'll realize this isn't quite the center. So let's say we put up paragraph tag here and put center and I don't know we do text align center you can see it's not quite in the middle it's a little bit off to the right I mean you could do something like a margin I don't know right of negative 10 or something I'll make that margin left that is and try to kind of you know, center it yourself, but that's usually not optimal. Usually you don't want to do that. So another better way of doing this, if, you know, obviously if you can't, uh, if you can't have that second image just centered in there is to uh, create like a, basically an empty third tag that we're going to be using. So to do that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use something called flex grow or flex. Um, we're going to use the flex grow command. So we can do the top container and we're going to select the first div and we're going to do the first child of that, which is that image. And we're going to just do flex one here. And so what that did is if we put a border on this, let's say one pixel solid red, you can see now this flex grow, it's actually taking up the entire uh, the entire mount here. So it's growing to it. Basically this is the same as flex grow one. Um, it's also the same as one, I think zero auto. Um, but essentially what we're doing is we're just going to grow it to, um, to the full amount. Of the uh, of the screen, so it takes up all the space. 
But what we want to do is we want to have another third item in here that does the same thing. So if we did have a third item, we could have something like this. We could have a third item in here. Let's say we had another image like, I don't know, this one. We copy and paste it in here. And what happens if we did the same on this one? So if we put top container div and do last child and then put a flex one on it, we could see then um, we, we are doing the same thing. And now this one's taking up all the space. If we do border one pixel solid blue, I don't know. There we go. Obviously this isn't right. So we could, you know, we could do something like this. We can do uh, display flex and then justify content flex end. And you can see here, but we actually don't want this item in here. So that would be a problem. Looks like this is a little more centered um, in there. One thing we can try to do is we can do a top container and then we can do something in the, let me do this. We can do top container and we can do something called after here. And then we can put content, which will have nothing in there and then we'll make it grow. And then we'll delete the third one out of here. Okay, so it's not quite even, so what we need to do is put flex one and that'll even it. And basically this is saying that there's three options on your flex. There's, um, this is your grow, shrink, and your basis. So this is saying that we're gonna have flex one for this hidden one here. So if we put border, one pixel solid green, and then we do the same thing in the after. You can see here, this is basically saying that we're going to have one pixel grow. So this first child is growing to one, that it's gonna to shrink to one, and then the basis is gonna be zero pixels. So basically it's going to just take up whatever space it has. It's not gonna take up any extra space. So that way it completely centers it here, which is perfect, that's what we want. Okay, so we'll take that out and we'll take out the center because we know that's working. So the second part of this is to actually get the icons in place. So what we'll do is we'll create another div tag here and we'll call it, actually we'll do this, do, uh, we'll call it second header. And then we'll just have some H4s. We'll do four of them. We'll call one color and then typography and then layout, and then components. So you see down here, I have my four. Now I'm going to go and scroll to the bottom here, and I'm, I'm gonna add in my second header here. And then in my second header, uh, we'll keep it pretty simple. I'll just do display flex, so that'll line it up in that flex start. I'll do justify content center and then I like to have padding around this so I'll do 10 pixels padding that'll put it on all sides and then I'll have to put a margin so I'll do h4 and I'll put a margin of 20 pixels so once again if you look here we put a border of one pixel solid red you can see here we have this padding of 10 pixels on all sides um, and then if we do look here and we put a border, a one pixel solid red, you can see now we have margins on the right and left side of these and up and down. So that way they are spaced out correctly. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, that was a real simple case, but this is really pretty similar. I mean, obviously we don't have nice pictures, but it's pretty similar to the design layout here with everything centered in the middle, this nicely centered right above icons. So if we took a look at ours, um, we actually missing one, let me add the icons. I'll add icons right after typography. Yeah, you can see here icons pretty much exactly in the middle there. So that that's, uh, that's really it for me. So I just wanna show you this kind of neat example of creating a header. I think Flex is just so powerful um, and it's so easy to use that 
it's it's uh, it's well worth your guys' time if you want to jump into it. And just check out those resources that I mentioned before if you want some more information. Um, I like this little trick of here using the after. You could use before too, which adds like, like that secret hidden component, uh, this secret hidden one right here with no content, so that way it lines up correctly. Uh, I like that. If you guys uh, know any other quick flex tricks, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm always, um, I'm I'm certainly learning more and more about flex every day. Uh, I think I'm okay at it. I'm certainly not an expert. I'm sure some of you guys are really good at it. Let me know below some of the tricks, places you guys use to level up your flex knowledge. Thanks and have a great day.